Hey, what's up, man? This is Devin. Yeah, what's up? Not much. How you doing? I'm doing pretty good. How about you? Doing well. So give me the give me the rundown on this car. It needs a clutch for sure. It's pretty much completely gone. Body's not perfect by like no means. Like it's got little damages here and there. And I'm trying to decide if I want to try and just drive it home. Yeah, once you try to build a little bit of boost, it like it completely slips. So yeah, that shouldn't be a problem then. I promised myself about a month ago I'd never buy another Evo. What am I doing? Buying another Evo because you're addicted. This thing has got 30,000 miles on it. You're talking to the proud owner of a new, not very nice, but got some nice potential Evo. It's an all right car. Body is a little bit more beat up than I wish it was. You ready for this? Mm -hmm. You're gonna shit yourself when I start it. Why is it so vibrating? It's got solid motor mounts in it. Ridiculous. What's that for? This whole car is just so damn stiff. Well, I can already see she leaks oil. Let's see what we got. The good, the bad, the ugly. So obviously the clutch, as you guys heard, is completely shot. This oil leak right here, that's gonna be probably a little bit hard to diagnose just because everything is wet. I don't know if I dare even show you guys the body. Body's quite a bit worse than I would like. Let's dive in. With the first being this door. You can see back here, it's completely bent in. The rear door, dent there. A little bit of a crease there, ding there. Moving on to the rear bumper. Looks like they probably backed into something. This side we have that dent on the pillar. Front bumper, cracked paint, a little bit scraped down here. Hood has got quite a bit of tiny dents in it, almost like hail damage, and the hood color does not match. This fender, probably gonna need to be sprayed as well. Cracked paint, cracked paint, chip, dent. Glass on this mirror here is shattered. I just bought a bunch of Evo 10 parts. All the stuff for the trunk, radiator cover, OEM wing, a mirror, hopefully this is the right side. My PDR guy came over and took a look at the door. He wants to give it a shot. Today the whole drive train is coming out of this thing. Clearly why we had a gear oil leak. So there is an O-ring right here, where it's supposed to be. This is all RTV. So we tried to RTV together, the T-case and the trans. We had one missing T-case bolt, two missing transmission bolts. Rear trans mount is nice and floppy. All the oil that was leaking from the T-case to trans traveled in to the clutch area, which probably explains the clutch slippage issue. You can still see life on the clutch, which is crazy. This thing hardly would move under its own weight. Moving on to some body work. Front bumper, a little bit of cracked paint right up in here. I'm gonna pull off this license plate bracket and then just a few little scrapes down in here. Peeling, peeling, rock chips. There's a few little 
tiny dings in it. We're gonna respray the hood scoop. It'd be nice to blend into the fenders. I wanna fix all this up on the front fender. There was a little bit of cracking paint right here from when somebody rolled the fenders. I like it. I think it looks really, really nice. I want to get these calipers repowder coated. I have no idea what color I want to do the calipers. We made a big mistake. I put a used flywheel in the car that was not turned. It's very, very warped. The car does not drive good. We are gonna pull the transmission back out of the car today. So the last thing I want to get done on this car is a full detail. So we got the polisher, we got a few different pads. We do need to go through, get out all of the dirt out of the paint on the parts that we sprayed. The hood has the most amount of dirt in it. We have to knock down the orange peel and then of course we need to do a full polish. brand new.
We're also gonna retune this car real quick. It's just a simple full bolt-on setup and it's gonna make like 350 wheel. 